Hello everyone and welcome to The Daily for Wednesday, January 16th. I'm Simon Bohr together with Matt Doyle. We're here in Indianapolis, Indiana, the site of the NSCAA convention, but also the MLS Super Draft on Thursday at noon Eastern on MLSsoccer.com and ESPN3.com. But today we start with news of about World Cup qualifying, news, Matt, that many people were waiting for. The site of the, U of, of the U.S. national team's first World Cup qualifier, home World Cup qualifier against Costa Rica. Yeah, it's going to be at Dick's Sporting Goods Park in Denver. Uh, the big reason for me, Jurgen Klinsmann says not for him, but the big reason for me is that it is the highest elevation of any soccer park in America, 5,200 feet. Uh, and that's important because four days later, they go down to Mexico City, the Azteca, which is actually 2,000 feet higher. The only other option, I think, really was Rio Tinto Stadium in Salt Lake City. That's 4,400 feet. I think that 800 feet makes a difference for the U.S. just in terms of having their stamina for 90 minutes. Classy response by the president of Real Salt Lake. They were in the running with Dick Sporting Goods Park. He says all that matters, the U.S. wins their World Cup qualifying games. That's what we should rally around. And we have more stadium news. Sporting Kansas City and the Livestrong Foundation have parted ways, which means Sporting Kansas City's new stadium has a new name. Yeah, it's just Sporting Park now. Uh, it seems like a very contentious split. Owner Rob Heineman explained his side of the story on the Sporting KC website, uh, put out a press release. We have full coverage on MLSsoccer.com. This, of course, all happening in the wake of Lance Armstrong admitting he doped for 15 years, uh, winning all those Tour de France titles with thanks to the help of modern science. And some more exciting stadium news coming out of New York of all places, where Major League Soccer is working with the city of New York to build a stadium in Flushing, Flushing Meadows Park. We hear now that the New York Cosmos are looking at their own home in Belmont, which would create a scenario where you, in New York City, Matt, you'd have a team in New Jersey, Harrison, where the Red Bulls play, possibly Queens, uh, where the second New York MLS team would play and then the Cosmos in Long Island but there's more NASL news uh, as well and we're here in Indianapolis there's a big announcement coming today and we'll be there yeah that's right uh, it looks like Indianapolis is going to get a Nassau expansion franchise slated for 2014 I have high hopes for it because Peter Wilt is involved Peter Wilt was the original president and GM of the Chicago Fire one of my favorite people in the history of MLS a guy who knows how to connect to the fans build a fan base create that level of authenticity City that all clubs at every level of the pyramid in U.S. soccer strive for. Uh, and I'm excited about it. Indianapolis, Indiana has a great soccer tradition. The Hoosiers just won their eighth NCAA title this year. Uh, there's a buzz about the team in this town. It, I, got, I got goosebumps, Simon. I got goosebumps. I love it. We'll be at that event and we'll have coverage of it on MLSsoccer.com. In addition, march to the match, going to speak with all the important players around this big announcement. And now the reason we're here, the Super Draft. And Matt, there's a lot of talk about potential moves that a lot of teams will be involved in. Yeah, it's that time of year, isn't it? Every year during, during the Super Draft, there are big trades. And we're hearing rumors of three guys in particular on the trading block. Uh, Dan Kennedy, goalkeeper of Chivas USA. Uh, Eric Hosley has asked out of Toronto. And Dilly Duca of the Columbus Crew. Brian Bliss went out and said to the Columbus Dispatch that we're looking to trade Dilly Duca. I think they might end up packaging that number nine pick together, try to get some backline help because they have nothing at the fullback positions. Uh, as for Dan Kennedy, it's a question of what can Chivas USA get from them. They've kind of backed themselves into a corner because of their policy of really wanting only Mexicans and Mexican Americans. Uh, as for Osley, I think there are going to be a lot of moves in Toronto. I mean, Kevin Payne, he really wants to put his stamp on that team. He's had his finger in the pot at VCU United for 16 years. Not going to be any different in Toronto. Question is, do they move the number one or number one three, or excuse me, number three pick yeah. with it? Yeah. Well, taking all this into account, we'll see what the strategies of teams are. We've taken our stab at it with the MLS mock draft. Check it. Check out the latest version of that on MLSsoccer.com. We'll have a Google Hangout later tonight, previewing all the latest news leading into the draft. And of course, tomorrow, live coverage of the MLS Super Draft beginning at noon Eastern on ESPN Sports Center. That's the first pick. And then on MLSsoccer.com, on YouTube, and on ESPN3.com. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.